It's India's biggest military acquisition in years. The Rafale fighter jet, the first batch arrived earlier today in India. Five fighters touched down at the Ambala airspace in the state of Punjab. These five planes will take the IAF squadron strength to 31. The Rafale is a game-changing acquisition for the Indian Air Force. Let me tell you why. The Rafale can carry out a variety of missions. It can be used for ground and sea attacks. In fact, uh, it can be used for electronic warfare, air defense, ground support and in-depth strikes. The biggest asset of the Rafale is its weapon-carrying capability. It has the Meteor air-to-air -air missile. It can shoot down an enemy aircraft if it's more than 100 kilometers away. The Rafale will also be equipped with a scalp long-range missile. This can hit a target that's more than 300 kilometers away. The Rafale is the most potent aircraft in South Asia. It can detect threats well in advance and neutralize them. The Rafale is much more capable than Pakistan's F-16 aircraft or China's JF-20, an aircraft that is yet to see combat. The Rafale's acquisition is a significant boost for India's defences against China. Ever since the Ladakh standoff, the Indian Defence Forces have been on alert. Recently, the Indian Navy conducted drills off the coast of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now the Navy is stepping up its surveillance. Reports say India has reached out to its neighbours in the Indian Ocean region. Its partners, Indian officials, have spoken to the Maldives, Mauritius, Seychelles and Madagascar. This is an attempt to stop China for, from expanding its footprint. Frontline border forces of the two countries have disengaged in most locations and the current situation has continuously improved with East tensions. At present, China and India are actively preparing for the fifth round of commander level talks to handle and resolve the remaining problems on the ground. Of course, after the, uh, the clash in Ladakh, we cannot take China's claims at face value. Indian officials are yet to confirm if the disengagement is complete or not. Until then, India is matching Chinese aggression with precise preparation on land, at sea and in the air.